Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets channel and it's time for another iOS 11 beta update which means there must be some good screen recording news, right? Uh... So, unless you've been living in a cave 3,000 feet under the surface or you have absolutely no interest in iPhones you will be aware that iOS 11 is now in a beta stage and it will be out in probably September or October. In the meantime, we're going to keep getting these beta releases every two or three weeks, usually on a Monday. And we're now on beta three. So we're going to continue to look at the screen recorder, find out whether there's been any new features or if any bugs have been fixed. So let's take a look. The first thing of interesting note is when you actually look at the recording options, if you long press on it on the control center. The wording here has changed from start recording to start broadcast. Now that could mean many different things and on the face of it here it doesn't look any different because when you start a broadcast that simply starts a screen recording. However, this could mean live streaming or it could mean tying into other applications. And the reason I say that is because Evrecord have posted a very interesting Twitter picture which looks as if you can tie your recordings into different applications. Now I don't know any further information at the moment about this, I'm uh, being I guess cryptic and guessing what the future is, but this may be a step forward in the screen recording functionality where it becomes recording, broadcast, wherever you want to send that video you might get options depending on whether apps support it, but we'll have to look at that in the future when we know more. For now it's a bit of a guess. The two biggest problems with the screen recorder coming into iOS 11 beta 3 was that it doesn't do screen recordings at all on some devices. I've received lots of comments about this, but it doesn't happen for me and I can't replicate it. So I guess it must be on non iPhone 7 devices. The bug that I can replicate, however, is the landscape bug whereby it squashes the image once you look back at your recording. So that's what we're going to test here. I will simply start a recording as I usually would do. That will get the blue bar at the top so I know it's recording and I will load up uh, my usual landscape testing game, which is this PewDiePie game. Not PewDiePie, what the hell am I talking about? It's a Pew Pew game. But anyway, it is a landscape shoot em up where I would just f um, fly around the screen and shoot stuff. If we go back now to the screen recorder, turn it off. We get a, re a notification at the top of the screen and we can sh jump straight to that notification. If I press play here and make sure it's muted and what we should see if it's working is that the landscape fixes itself correctly when we're in the game or it doesn't go all weird and squashed. But as you can see, look at that. It just completely changed the orientation when I went into the game. Then it switches back to landscape when I do a volume change. Then it squashes itself back up and goes to portrait. So I'm afraid the news is that the big bug hasn't been fixed. Next on the bug list is internal audio recording. There often appears to be a massive amount of lag or some other problem. This is what happened when I first tried to do the test on iOS Beta 3. So if you are a bit confused as to what happened there, there was an audio lag of about five seconds and then after five seconds of recording, the audio simply cut out and now it's just playing with absolutely no sound. This is what happened on my second test. The audio lag is much reduced in this recording and it carries on throughout the entirety of the recording. So the best I could describe internal audio recording at the moment is inconsistent. Now along with every iOS beta update that they're going to do, I assume they're going to play about with the AirPlay so it might affect existing screen recorders such as Airshow. In the previous incarnation of iOS 11 beta, we had a horrible problem whereby when you opened up certain applications, the screen went really weird as it changed resolution like it's doing right now and then it might switch back to a normal screen within the application and then you might go to another screen and again it goes all glitchy like this. You can't fix this problem by putting it through a video editor, making no changes and exporting it. This is clearly a cropped image issue. So you'd have to crop the image, 
but as I say, because the image is constantly resizing, you may end up cropping a part of the image when it goes back to normal size. So as regards to Airshow, there's no change here. It does screen record, but the final image that you get is pretty much unusable. Oh, and if you're wondering what happens when you put the video through an editor, make no changes and then export it, this is what you end up with. Something that's completely corrupted and totally unusable which never happens when I do airshow recordings on iOS 10 after it's been through a video editor. So yeah, there's clearly problems here. Oh, and another thing, when you finish an airshow recording, it leaves the airplay icon at the top of the screen, which means that I can't do another screen recording. And finally, on the first beta release of iOS 11, every card, despite all its bugs, did actually do a screen recording. However, now, if you try and do a screen recording, what's going to happen is that when you type in your file name to kick off a recording, confirm that you want the recording to start, it's just going to bomb out of the application. So something clearly has changed in the way AirPlay works. Every card, I assume, are going to be looking at this as they continue to update their application. But for now, we've lost another screen recorder on iOS 11. We're down to, well, nothing that actually reliably works at the moment. Hmm, what's the best way I can describe iOS 11 Beta 3? How about fix nothing, break all? Yeah, I think that's the sort of update we've just come across. Sure, they've changed start recording to start broadcast, means absolutely nothing at the moment. All of the screen recorders that weren't working still don't work, and now every record doesn't work either. And all of the fixes that we need for the iOS 11 built-in screen recorder haven't been fixed. Brilliant. Now, admittedly, these are my very first impressions of the iOS 11 Beta 3 screen recorder, but I can't imagine it getting any better until another update. If you've had any different experiences with your beta version, let me know in the comments below. But if you haven't updated to iOS 11 yet, don't. Leave it alone because it's getting even worse at the moment. And it is, to be honest, making me a little bit nervous about how this final screen recorder may look. Are Apple really serious about making something we can work? Or do we just hope that the other third party screen recorders can catch up with all the changes that Apple are making to make something that we really need? For now, you might as well stick to iOS 10 and Airshow or Evrecord, depending on updates. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.